All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today we're going to pick up a Vauxhall Vectra Estate that I've just agreed to buy for £1,200. Now, this has come from a trade contact of mine, and to be honest, when he offered it to me, I thought it sounded... I thought it sounded very expensive. When he said a 2007 Vectra, I was thinking like six, seven hundred pounds, not 12. But it's been described to me as being, well, a little minter. So I suppose I should reserve judgment until I've actually seen the thing. I know the Vectra isn't the most loved car on the planet, but I've always had quite a good relationship with them. Purely platonic, obviously. Anything else would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? But I suppose my point is, they're not bad cars. Yes, they're a bit bland, but they're all right. I mean, it's your typical, it's your typical dad car, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not entirely sure what it's worth. I had a quick look at Australia earlier, and there aren't that many out there to compare it with. I'm just hoping there's some profit here. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it. Anyway, let's go and have a look, shall we? See what it's like. Well, we're here, and it's black. In fact, that's called sapphire black. I hate myself, do you know that? It's a late 2007 57, oh, it's an SRI. That, in its day, was a really good car, you know. It's a little bit hearsey, isn't it, in black? But still, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's somebody out there for it. Quite boxy as well. I'm quite pleased about this. I still don't think it's worth 1,200 pounds, to be honest. It just looks very old for 1,200 quid, but I could be wrong. It's an SRI, so it's got the bigger wheels, color-coded bits, rear privacy, front fogs. It's come from the northeast originally. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, as always then, I'm gonna do a vehicle history check using Car Vertical. So, all we do is go to carvertical.com, type in the vehicle reg or the VIN. In this case, we know it to be November Lima 57. November Kilo Foxtrot, check vehicle. By the way, if you want to do one of these checks for yourself, and I urge you to do so before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorbike, don't forget to use my promo code HIGHPEAK for 10% off each and every check that you do. It's really important that you do this because you don't want to buy a car with a hidden past. This will tell us whether it's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or has outstanding finance on it. In addition to that, it shows you the MOT history. If it's ever been involved in an accident, it sometimes shows you photographs of the damage. If it's ever been for sale previously, sometimes it shows you photographs of the, the dealer's advert. It's just a really very thorough check. It's currently checking database in dozens of countries now as we speak. It only takes a couple of minutes, this. Right, and the report's ready. So, view report. That is a 2007 Opel Vectra diesel. That's a 1.9 diesel then, I think. 150 horsepower. Let me see if I'm right. It's never been clocked. There's no outstanding finance. There's no recorded damage. Uh, never been stolen. And the mileage is nice and low for a 16, 17-year-old car. And its last MOT in September last year, it had done 77,000 miles. The year before that, it had done 71, 69, 66, 64. Nice and low. And we've got a market value today as well, so the highest price apparently is 2483. Maybe my £1,200 is safe after all then. It is a Vectra Estate, automatic, right-hand drive, four-cylinder, one nine, yeah, there we go. I told you, didn't I tell you? Black Sapphire, Bosch. Such a loser, honestly. Aircon, uh, there we go. So we've got all the spec there as well. Let's go down then to the MOT history. So if we go to its most recent MOT, ah, the ownership changed in March last year. The most recent MOT has got one advisor item. Central tyre worn close to legal limit on edge, both front tyres wearing on inner and outer edges. Right, okay. So two tyres potentially, that was at 77. So, I think that's about it for now. We need to go and have a look around it, don't we? I can't remember the last time I bought a Vectra. Right then, let's go. Very long car, that, isn't it? We've got both keys, and I'm told the history is very good with this as well. Both keys, do they work? They do indeed. We've got a tow bar I've just spotted. It's that kind of car, isn't it? A big spacious family car. Not seen that for a while, you know, where they etch the, the reg number on the glass. We've got matching plates. It's the 1.9 CDTI, 150 brake horsepower. Bodywork looks okay. These generally don't rust too bad. Or not in my experience, anyway. On the back, we've got a Delinte. They're not a bad tire on about three and a half, four mil of tread. 
Brake discs look okay. Bodywork looks quite bright. Yeah, it's etched on every single pane of glass. Usually, you know, because they're such a big car, all the corners are usually uh, bumped and scratched, but these look all right, just when it wants a wash. Another matching Delinte on the front with about, they've been replaced since the last MOT. They're in about five and a half mil. That's good news, don't need to do that. The headlamps could do with a buff. Pretty good though this, pretty good, apart from it needing a good clean. So yeah, both, both front tyres have been replaced. Nice one. Oh, I've just spotted a little bit of corrosion. A bit of scabbiness there. But we could just do that bit, couldn't we? Hmm, that's not bad then, is it? So all the glass is original and matching. Very good. I mean, it's not a pretty looking thing, is it, to be honest? But it's a bit sort of funereal, isn't it? I've just made up a word there. Inside we've got Vectra state specific mats. I mean it wants a little bit of a clean but it's quite a clean car if that makes any sense. Oh yeah, look at the leg room in this. Look at this. The limousine and if I remember correctly, oh there we go look at this. You know I've got a bit of a uh, cup holder fetish. A nice, oh no, I've just broken it. I was just about to say it's a nice car, this. I've broken a little cigarette lighter thing. There we go, there we go. Leave that alone. Look at this, look, for your, for your skis. Can't actually open it, but let's have a look in the boot, see if there are any treasures. Massive tailgate. In the boot then, I could get in here, in fact, I will. Parcel shelf. There's loads of room in here. Could camp out in this, you know, genuinely. Make a good sort of adventure vehicle. In the back here then we've got, hang on a second. First aid kit, which I can't do with one hand, so we'll leave that where it is. On this side we've got some storage there for your crisps and your sandwiches. Just wants a good old clean this. Quite a nice car. I mean it was described to me as being quite nice but I'm just always surprised when that's the case. So what have we got inside then? Close this door because it's cold. It's automatic, standard sort of General Motors Gear selector, that's not broken, we've got a nice armrest. Yes, service history, right. You ready for this? Let me uh, start it up actually. Get some heat going. So my inspection's due. Oh yes. It's been a while since I've been in this era of Vauxhall. I passed my test in a 2006, 2007, 2006 Vauxhall Astra and it had the exact same sort of indicators and steering wheel as this. It was a BSM, British School of Motoring car. This is like a Saab, isn't it? You've got a uh, winter button as well, which I think just sets you off in second gear so you don't spin. We've got some bulbs out there and that's it. That's my only warning light apart from diesel. It's done 81,000 miles, we've got air conditioning. Any CDs? Nope, okay. Hazard light button there. Service history then, so like I say, this has been described as having full history. Let's see if the cam belt's been done. Because people have varying definitions of full history. 2008 at 14. 2010, 22, 11. 31, 13, 40, 14, 44, 17, 58, 19, 64. What are we looking for here then? Cam belt, cam belt, cam belt, cam belt. Um, tooth belt, there we go. Tick next to it. 
That was seven years ago, but it was only 23,000 miles ago. So I think we're good. I think we're good. The most recent service was August, the year before last at 71, where it had a full engine service. Right, well, that's a result. So it's due a, it's due a service, it's due an MOT. The previous advisory items were the tyres, which have been replaced, so that shouldn't cost me anything. I would say, ladies and gents, we're onto a bit of a winner here. Does my heater get warm? Give it a minute, I suppose. Let's go and have a look under the bonnet. Is it on? I can barely hear it. It's actually not a bad engine, that. I don't mean that particular one from my quick glance at it, I just mean in general. The 1.9, 150 isn't bad. This will clean up nicely, you know. Do my windows work? Oh, yes. So, a bit of scabbiness there on the, sur on the arch, that's not a problem. Should we take this for a spin, then? See how she drives? Right then, first time in the old Vectra state. Am I showing my age here that I'm getting quite excited about this? Now they got impaled then by the barrier. Straight away I can tell you, I know I've only driven it a few feet, but it feels solid and tight and looked after. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Is my gearbox smooth? So far it is. So far, that's all right. My heat is getting nice and warm. Temp gauge hasn't moved yet, but it's only been running for two minutes and it is zero degrees today. Does my radio work? What have I been listening to? How do I turn it on? 105.2, I don't know what that means. I don't even know where this car's come from originally. Right, we've got a brake light out. That's why my bulb light's on. Bit of Taylor Swift. This is a nice car, you know. Pulls well. Not smoking. Hmm. What am I going to do with this then? What should I do? I don't want to start getting greedy, but I can see pound signs here. There is some profit in this. I can now see why it was 1,200 quid. Firstly, the fact that it's in good condition. Second, the fact that it's only done 80,000 miles. Thirdly, it's automatic. Fourthly, if that's a word, it's had its cam belt done. Yeah, right. That's what I'm going to do then. Now I know that it drives okay. Run it to my mechanic for a check over. Clean MOT, no advisories. Service, knock off the inspection light. What else then? Run it to Jimmy's and get him to paint that rear wheel arch. Maybe a set of plates because I'm weird. I don't even need to do the key, because the key shells are alright. I think, you know guys, I could spend maybe £300 on this. This could be a double your money car, this. If I can spend 300 on it, it'll owe me 15 it could be 2995 Stranger things have happened. You just know with this job, I drive that many cars, I drive 20 different cars every day, or more sometimes. I just know whether something's decent or not straight away. Ah, test drive, right. Fingers crossed for a sale today then. Mm, I could get the gearbox serviced. I should get the gearbox serviced, really. Mm. I'll see how busy my gearbox man is, see whether they can fit in a quick uh, fluid change for me. I know we're car snobs in the UK, but there really is nothing wrong with something like this. It's got loads of life left in it, I hope. I think overall, and this has been quite a decent day in business for me. I bought a couple of cars so far that I think I've got profit in. I did say I wanted to start off the new year without massively overspending, and so far we're doing all right. Well, folks, I think that's it. Give me, uh, give me two weeks. It might be two weeks before I get it, get all these jobs done. Mm. Mm, ten days. Give me ten days, and I will have an update for you. Who knows? It might be even sold by then. And we're back in the cheap Vectra estate. And you know how this year I haven't massively overspent so far. Well, 
my luck's run out. Honestly, we're not even in February yet. The thing with this Vectra, though, I have, I have massively overspent. I got a little bit carried away. What can I say? It happens to the best of us. The strange thing is, this was a fairly decent example to begin with anyway, but the cost just kind of ran away with themselves. Anyway, let's not get too stressy and depressy because it now looks amazing. Well, I say amazing, it's a 17-year-old Vectra estate. It looks pretty good for a 17-year-old Vectra estate. I hope you agree with me anyway, because I think now I've got it looking its best. The best it's probably looked in about 10 years. Right, then let me explain what happened. After we last spoke, I took this down to my mechanics for a service and a clean MOT with no advisory items. I also asked them to look at a water leak. It was leaking water somewhere. There was a, there was a damp patch of carpet behind the passenger seat. I thought it could possibly be a door seal. Anyway, it wasn't. It turned out to be a faulty windscreen. So my mechanic got a windscreen repair company out to replace the windscreen with a new one, and now it's all sorted. It is completely watertight, unlike my finances. My mechanic actually said when they got it up on the ramp, it was quite a decent example. It only needed, I think it was front discs and pads, and one of the calipers was seized. But apart from that, it was all pretty good. I even had a quick nosy at it underneath, and it did look really tidy. There wasn't an awful lot of rust, it was a nice clean example. Once it had its clean MOT, I picked it up from there and took it down to Jimmy the Magician. If you remember, there was a little bit of scabbiness on the rear wheel arch. So I asked him to repaint that, buff the headlamps and buff the whole car and get it looking presentable. And what I got was a completely transformed Vectra. Now I've been away for a few days in Malaga. I got back late last night. And in my absence, one of my colleagues picked this up from Jimmy and took it over to the lads at Tameside Detailing for a full valet. I picked it up this morning, took some photographs of it at work and this is the end result. I'm really pleased with it. All right, most people wouldn't have bothered rescuing an 07 Vectra estate, but I think we've established this already. I'm not most people. Right, then I suppose what we should do next, if I ever get past this cyclist, is pull over somewhere scenic and I'll go through my costs. Get your calculators at the ready, boys and girls, because I think this is going to be a big one. Okay, then. Knock the old engine off. Let me get my calculator out. So, if you remember, I paid £1,200 for this car, which seemed like quite a lot of money for a 07 Vectra but it's a black automatic 150 SRI, quite a decent spec. It did have some things going for it. So 1200 pounds was the price. The cost of replacement windscreen was 185 plus VAT. So that was 222 pounds total. So 222, three little ducks. Then we've got my mechanic bill. So it had an oil filter, oil, a wear sensor on the brake pads, front brake discs, front brake pads, near side front brake caliper, labour, and an MOT test fee. That total was 452 and 70 pence. Then my bill with Jimmy the Magician, what did he do? So remove rust and repair near side rear wheel arch and repaint. Wash, clay bar, buff, polish, wax, full vehicle, buff headlamps, general clean and touch in, 225 pounds. Black metallic, right. We'll add 225 to that. I was going to replace the reg plates, but they're all right, really, and I'm just throwing good money after bad. What else have we got then? Oh, just the cost of the valet. That was £70, and I did put £30 of diesel in it. Right. I've spent 30 pence short of £1,000 on this car. So this car currently owes me £2,199.70. So 2200 I've got this car advertised for... No, oh, thanks, Jack Harlow. Not right now, sunshine. I've got this advertised for £3,295, which I know you're going to say is very expensive, but look at what it is. It's an 81,000 mile practical automatic estate car that now looks really nice. So, mm, I mean, for three and a bit grand, it's quite a lot of car, isn't it, really, I suppose? If, for example, you were an outdoorsy type of person and had some dogs or whatever, then it might be ideal. Anyway, that's about it, I suppose. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the links below. And yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you next time.